John and Rachel from your Jag Off, and we are jagging around with in a little magic place with uh, magical. Eric Jones. Magical. magical, right? You're not from Pittsburgh, but you're here to promote something cool going on in Pittsburgh. I right? am promoting something here that's really cool in Pittsburgh called Libby Magic, where I am going to be the opening act for a brand new magic venue, and I'll be performing for six weeks every Wednesday through Sunday uh, through February and into March. How does something like that become a calling? You know, it's a really interesting thing. Uh, I was attending college at Cornell University where I was studying instructional engineering and David Blaine came to our school and gave a lecture about psychology. Oh. I took a lot of notes. I ended up coming up with ways to do the tricks and I kind of became a magician. I've uh, studied magic and pursued uh, a lot of different things and I've kind of made a name for myself after doing things like America's Got Talent where I was a finalist yes. and uh, a full pen and teller on their show mm -hmm. uh, and it led me to getting a call from the guys of the Cultural Trust to perform here at Liberty Magic. We all have an idea of what we think a magician is. You see a top hat, you see the tails, they pull the coin out of, out of your ear, all of that crap. That's so cliche. Um, like. Even the way I dress, people say, you're, you do what? You're, yeah. not, you're not a rapper? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said in West you know? Philadelphia, born in yeah, right. You didn't like that, sorry. <laughs> no, it's cool. it's cool. People say the same about me and yeah, my clothing. Same. They think I'm a rapper. He wears a Flava Flav yeah. box sometimes and I ask him not to. I've got to see a picture. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it's not on his Instagram, <laughs> it needs yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so people aren't used to the way you look because they're you don't look like traditional magician. Exactly. Right. Okay. exactly. Plus, there are not, not a lot of people of color who are doing that. Oh, sure. Sure. That a true story. So I go on a date with a girl and she asks, me, what do you do for a living? I say magic. She said, no, no. <laughs> what, what do you really do? Yeah. You know? does, does she offer to pick up the tab thinking that you're broke? That's performer. the only thing that works to my advantage. <laughs> but do so you throw out the America's Got Talent card here and there? You have to. I, I, I try not I have to not say to. I recognized you somehow. Oh, thank yeah. you. I, I try not to. I try not to be that guy. I'm, I, I, I don't like a lot of attention. It's not mm -hmm. my thing. The only time I use it is when I get to the airport. Oh, okay. Because now what happens at the Philadelphia airport on my way out, uh, security knows me so I don't even go through oh, smart. you know I don't have to worry yeah. about any of that anymore so yeah what's it like in Pittsburgh have you been here before and what's it like I have you know um, when I first started coming to Pittsburgh I was dating a young lady who lived in McKee's Rocks what yeah. that's my job that's where I grew up oh really yeah. Yeah. no kidding you read his mind this sucks yeah. <laughs> I started dating a girl there uh, and I fell in love with it uh, once I found out that this is where George Romero's from because I'm oh, a yeah. huge zombie, zombie fan. Yeah. So I went to the mall and I yeah. went to some of the places where he's done some of his filming. So I've, I've had nothing but great experiences with it. And I've tried to walk across every bridge you guys have. Isn't that 446 of them. Is it really yeah. I, that I haven't had nearly? <laughs> yeah. uh, everyone should come see uh, the magic, especially my show, Impossible, here at Liberty Magic. Because uh, it's going to be a really intimate 60 minute show with a lot of interaction, a lot of in your face magic. If you're a skeptic, you will be a believer if you come see the show. And you know if they're not there. Uh, yeah, because they, be, <laughs> they won't be there. Okay. <laughs> you're the mastermind. You're right. so. Thank you're you so much for the yeah. time. Awesome. We can't yeah. wait to see you. McKee's rocks! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry.